I'm filming on what came in my mail. It's a vlog sort of thing, but I'm like setting up and this wasn't expected. I'm just bored and I'm excited. Um, I was gonna wait until everything came, but things are obviously taking a while and not everything's coming together. And I've already set things up slowly, so it won't be everything, but maybe if I give you a house tour, you'll be able to see things. Okay, first on my agenda is I got this book because I got a $50 Indigo gift card from the Search Wishes Community <sighs> Commission. Shout out to Angela for like doing that. It was a surprise gift. So I got this, um, the last thing he told me, which is like sort of a mystery thriller. So her, this woman's husband goes missing and before he disappears, he leaves her like a cryptic note. And so her and her stepdaughter, who hates her currently in the beginning, set off to find her husband because like everyone's getting involved. The US Marshals, the FBI agents, and she's like, who even was my husband? And then they go on this journey and they're like kind of like being besties. Anyway, that one, then I have two more that I'm waiting for. Um, I think they get here tomorrow in the 19th. Today's the 10th, by the way. Um, so one is called The Midnight Library. Shout out to Faith. A and Mike's Mike for talking about it. It's really exciting. Um, and then the other one is When All Is Said, I think. And that sounds super sad, but super exciting. Um, what else? Oh, I got this, which is I am in love with, which is so like weird to say that you're in love with like a dish rack, but it's just so cute. Like, can we talk? Okay, I just took this off because it keeps falling off. But okay, I am gonna plug this. Obviously, everything's from um Mr. Baldhead Bezos company because nothing else will deliver here <laughs> and everything is closed like I couldn't buy cutting boards or knives or a freaking shower curtain because Doug Ford said it's not essential so I had to order a broom and a mop off of Amazon anyway can we talk about how cute she is she's so fancy so she's like double layered oops and she fits perfectly in my space and I love her so so much and she makes my kitchen look so cute and like, since I live alone, I don't need a lot, but this is for my cutlery. This is for my cutting board, which I don't have because it's not essential. And I'm just like cutting stuff on my plates or my countertop because that's fair and I can just wipe it down. But look, I love it. And these are for your plates or your bowls or cups and literally anything can be used. Um, love it so much. Oh, I got, this is what came from mail. So I ordered Plants Off of the Jungle and since they're not open for in-store shopping, I got them delivered. So there's my little Monstera. I need to show you along, get her. Ouch. And I have a little aloe that I'll get for you and an air plant. Okay, give me a second. And also these back, you can't see me. Also, I didn't want to film an unboxing because that's just so boring, but I think I might just because I got those two packages today. Okay. So, here is my little air plant baby. I have yet to find her cute little home just because she's quite big and she's like weird shape. Not like the other air plants I've seen, so I'm trying to find her little terrarium and I have to get pebbles, but... I don't really want to order pebbles on Amazon because that's kind of dumb. So she's just chilling out of like a little glass jar sitting like this on my toilet seat. Um, not on the actual seat, on the, like the little ledge. I don't know what they're called. Um, but she's really cute. I'm really in love with her. Um, okay, so Duran didn't know what an air plant was. Sorry for exposing you. But I think that's like a common thing. So I'm just going to explain. So an air plant basically doesn't need any soil and doesn't really need water. I soak her maybe once every two weeks. But because she's sitting in my bathroom, she doesn't need to be soaked as much. And I'm supposed to miss her once every week. But because she's, again, repetition, sitting in my bathroom, there's a lot of moisture there because of showers and stuff like that. I have to miss her less and potentially have to soak her less. I don't get a lot of light other than this room. So I bought more plants that are like low light, low maintenance so I can put it in other parts of my room and house. So that's why I have an aloe and the air plant. And then I have a little Miss Monstera. She's a little baby. Also my philandron, um, she's not new, but she's doing so well and she's growing so many new leaves and I'm so proud of her. And I've had her for over a year. I think she's the longest plant I've had. And I'm so proud of her and I love her so much. This is my cute little rubber plant. I'm so excited for her to grow big. Um, here's my aloe. She's so pretty. 
sorry this isn't the jar she came with i'm gonna paint this i just have it because this has holes obviously for drainage and this also has a hole so it has a plate i have to get pots because all these have drainage holes because they're supposed to but i don't have plates for the bottom of them and pots are not essential so i'm gonna have to try to find them and i don't want to buy them on amazon so i might just try to find more terracotta pots um what was i gonna oh <laughs> So I can't show you my shower curtain, but I'm going to show you my bath mat. It's so cute. It You can't really see it, but it has uneven little like things. It's so soft and it's so cute to step out onto because like out of my bath or out of my shower, like I just step out and I'm like, oh, it feels like heaven. Also, you're just going to have to take my word for it because you can't see my shower curtain, but it matches perfectly. And my bathtub is blue. And so like my shower curtain is like grayish white. It's like a... A little fun thing it has little tassels on the end and the gray goes with it which is really really fun also i got two packages today i think i i don't think i ordered them off of walmart and so i have my piano stand for my keyboard and then i have a shoe rack which is extendable because currently all my shoes are piled up in a corner over there which is really fun i don't know if i want to unbox on camera because i'll take so long and i also want to drink my coke so i'm going to stop and then actually i feel bad here, I'll give you some content. I'm trying to do ASMR, but I don't know how to do it very well. Probably should shut up. Okay. but I don't really need them because I'm smart. Um, just a cute little shoe rack. It's extendable. It's not very cute, but it's what we'll do. I can find one with like the mesh slash, it's not mesh, but like the flooring. This is just like, it sits like this. So hopefully my shoes won't fall through, but it's extendable, which is kind of what I need because like I, it's, I want to put this inside my wardrobe because I don't have a ton of storage space. So that's very exciting. I would put it together for you, but I don't really want to take up too much time. And then this is my piano stand. Obviously you can't see it, but it's quite big. And I'm just going to try to open it for you. Why is everything so hard to open today? Oh, she's really big. I wasn't expecting her to be this big. Oh my god. Hey. This is honestly really exciting. I've been having my piano on the floor and like when I had it in our old house, I just kind of put it on my bed, had it under my bed and then slide it and then pull it out and put it on my uh, mattress to play. I didn't really have a stand. I didn't really need one then, but I don't really want to put it in my room now that I have like an entire to apartment to myself. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's... Okay, nothing tipped over. Uh, no plants are harmed. I forgot it. I am a decent plant mom, like I water them fine, it's just I forget that they're there sometimes because I'm just, when I get excited, I put them everywhere. So there's like cling film on the ends, it's kind of annoying to get off. Okay, yeah, I want to this video under 10 minutes and I don't know if that's going to happen. So maybe I'll just show you what things look like in a house tour if I decide to give you a house tour. Anyway, okay. Oh my god, I'm running out of time. Will I, will I? I just broke something, I think. Oh no. I don't think I'll be able to do this in time. I don't even know how this works. Anyway, okay, goodbye. I got it working, and it works. Okay, bye.